So we got a question about how to layer during hunting season, cold and warm weather conditions. So we raided Jaren's closet and we're going to go to the guys at Sitka because they know a thing or two about layering. Dan asks, can you recommend a specific system that will keep me cool in the heat and warm in the cold while hunting? All right, so in the in the Rockies especially, we get a wide range of weather in the hunting season. Especially elk season starts usually in September, and we get we get that hot blast. So we can have temperatures ranging from 90 degrees in the middle of the day all the way down into below freezing at night. And so we really have to dress appropriately. And we believe that dressing appropriately starts with a next to skin layer. So it's really important to get something next to skin that's gonna provide wicking. And uh, getting that moisture away from your skin is gonna keep you warmer even when you're sweating out and it's 40 degrees, or even in the hot part of the summer when it's 80 degrees and you have a good next to skin piece. It's gonna to help to regulate your body temperature, keep you more comfortable to keep you honey longer. As the season progresses, that's when we're gonna to start to add pieces to our kit and really it becomes a system that you're building depending on the time of the year but a lot of that stuff will work throughout that uh, throughout the whole season so we start with a good next to skin layering piece something that wicks moisture something that hopefully has some kind of uh, uh, smell inhibitor like a polygene type techno polygene and other anti-stink materials what's the secret well the secret actually starts in your sweat sweat is naturally clean and odorless but when it gets into the fabric of your clothes that's the perfect breeding spot for bacteria. It's dark, it's warm, and it's moist. And that bacteria, as it spreads, is what actually produces the smell. Built inside of this fabric that we have is an ionic compound called silver chloride. And this acts as an antimicrobial layer that actually prevents the spread of that bacteria. So you can wear your clothes longer and stay fresher. It's gonna actually not keep you from stinking when you're out there in the back country for seven, eight days at a time. From there, what we typically add is some sort of insulation piece. So we've got our base layer, and then as the temps start to drop, or maybe we're sitting on a hill glassy, we need to cover up and provide a little bit of insulation. And we can do that with different types of pieces, anything ranging from wind stopper to block the wind and provide a little bit of insulation, all the way up to a puffy piece, something out of a Prima Loft. Um, you know, there's a lot of brands out there working with uh, with the Prima Loft company and providing us synthetic insulation. And now there's even, you know, down blends with that that really can accomplish what you need it to throughout a wide range of time uh, from September all the way through November. And then as we're stacking on top of that, we start to get some elements in the uh, in those seasons that can vary from rain to, you know, full on snowstorms, can get icy up there and everything else. So that's when we start to, to put on these outer layers. So we cover up, we got our next to skin, we have our insulation layers, and now we need a true outerwear piece to protect, to protect us from those really harsh elements that we have in the Rockies. So that's where I'm gonna start looking for some Gore-Tex pieces. And the Gore-Tex range or any kind of waterproof uh, outerwear garments, uh, you can get super lightweight, very packable to fully insulated Gore-Tex garments as well. Stuff that's going to provide more insulation plus an exterior shell that's going to protect you from all those elements.